Hello, and welcome my fellow Sob fanatics. This is the Sob Life here, and <clears throat> I just wanted to start a new series called uh, The Sob Find of the Week, which I posted one, that's not one, one earlier this month. Well, a little bit at the end of January. But, I want to kind of continue it. Not getting really many views on it, of course, even though I I have two subscribers now. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank them for actually subscribing. <clears throat> and, but I'm, <clears throat> I kind of want to continue the little series I have going on, or whatever you want to call it. And... This I find over the day or the week is a 2009 Arrow sedan MT. If you don't know what MT means, it means manual transmission. This car is awesome, but the bad thing is about it, it has 252,000 miles on it, and it's a 2000, which eh, they're kind of a slow version of it. I mean. It's still an arrow, but it's all right. I still like it, and <clears throat> I, it's not really a good deal for twenty-five hundred dollars. But yeah, when you cycle through the pictures, there is nothing really um, major about the car. I mean, since I just started like really examining it, there's a Maybe a hole or something right there or whatnot. Ain't that bad. Maybe it looks like I got hit right there. A little scuffed. Yeah, nothing really bad on this side. And let's continue. <clears throat> Pretty nice interior. It's... Nothing bad about it on the driver's side. I'm a little wear right there, and the seat's kind of iffy. The only bad thing about the interior is that it's kind of looks like it's ripping or cracking right there. A little bit right there, too, and right there. Still not bad. It's really nice condition. Back, same way. And. Really nice interior on the inside. Well, on the driver's seat, I mean. I just love all the options you can have right here. <clears throat> yeah, the only bad thing about this is it leaks from the timing. Timing cover. Timing chain cover. You can fix that. You really don't have to take off. Don't have to drop the engine or anything like that. Add about four thousand. Add a cord about four thousand miles or so. So it always has a semi-fresh oil in it, but he still changes it every five thousand, like you're supposed to. The reverse has been getting is getting bad, and he's been driving it like that for a hundred thousand miles. Uh, the CD player doesn't always work. Um, the rim is really bent is what he says. By a large rut. And it has these, these type of rims on it, which I, I really don't care for him. He also says he has that two-piece BBS rims on it, which, well, he also has it. And I've been emailing him and he says that's why it's at 2500 bucks and he says that a that he has a uh, been getting offers of like 900 dollars and stuff like that and yeah he refurbished and resurfaced and whatnot those bbs rims he replaced the uh da -da -da, the clutch no, he hasn't replaced the clutch. Yeah, he has it 217,000. And then water pump and the AC. He had to add some AC. The heat is good. 
Heater valve was replaced at 119,000. Same with the HVAC and the and the engine and transmission mounts has been replaced. That's the last 70,000. The brakes and throttle body was replaced around 150,000. And the ABS2 fuel pump went out right after the clutch was replaced, so he has that. And the alarm has stopped working a long time ago, so he re reprogrammed the SID, or reprogrammed the computer, I mean, to uh, notice that there's not one in the car or so. And the SID and the ACC has no pixelations, which is awesome. Most cars, that thing right there and that thing, <laughs> it's it. Those things go out a lot while the pixels go out. And you just have some things about how much he's been driving it and whatnot, which probably explains for the 252,000 miles on it or so. And I'm going to, he says he wants to trade for a 4x4 or an SUV, which I do not have. And as you guys know, I have my um, Porsche 931. And uh, yeah, doesn't want to trade for that. He said it would be pretty, pretty cool to have a uh, classic Porsche, but he has eight cars apparently. And he doesn't want to. And he doesn't even know I have two, so he would be actually gaining one car. He's going to lose one car by gaining two, so he's actually going to add one. And he does not really want to do that, which I don't blame him unless the car has a parts car with it. That's also an awesome car like I have. One awesome Porsche that runs and drives now. And also have a parts car. It's also the same year, same model, same everything pretty much, just smaller tires. And the wing on the back is the shorter version of it, which doesn't really bother me, but I like the long one, the extended version of the wing. But that's about it. And I was going to show you the uh, emails I've been getting from him. I got the wrong one. I sent him an email a while ago, not earlier. And yeah, why well not? Had a pretty extensive conversation about it, but he does not want to trade. So, that's pretty much the sob find of the week here. And plus, and there's like a bunch of these old trucks. Just go. That was a man. That was a manual one right there. A big old power stroke. Power stroke. This has been diesel trucks just today only. Just been going by, and I don't mind it because I like diesels. If I didn't like my truck so much. I would want to sell it and get a big old 3500 Cummins or a 5.9 or 6, 6 6.2 liter diesel from a GMC or Chevy. But anyways, that's not what I'm here for. Any, I wanted to start doing the series more often and just start making more and more videos for more and more people to view because... 209, video, 209 views isn't really a lot. And they're kind of, <laughs> it's kind of depressing, but I'm just going to load more and more videos every day. Well, yeah, load videos quite often. So for you guys to enjoy. I just wanted to do this, so... Uh, Soft find of the week. And the soft find of the week is going to be 
either on a Sunday, Sunday night, or Friday night is when I'm going to upload them. Even though it's a, it's a Tuesday at the moment. But I didn't do one, like I said, it was going on Friday or Sunday. So this makes up for it, and I'll do one also this week. At the end of this week. So, I'm just going to leave you there. So please comment, like, rate, well, like, dislike the video. And put comments down in the, in the comment section to uh, help me along with what I, I should and should not do. And if you like the videos or not, and, and whatnot. So, I'm going to leave it here, and I hope you guys uh, have a nice day, and I hope you buy a saw as well. And I bid you adieu.